Happy Thursday, historians. Welcome to the end of the school year. So first, let me say that uh, if you were in the test taker section, I want you now to return to the uh, regular section in Schoology to complete the distance learning unit eight overview page part two assignments, okay? No more test takers only section. Go back to your normal section in Schoology. <clears throat> If you click in here, you can see uh, some of the same stuff at the top about learning objectives and such. And if you did take the test or if you're planning to take the test in June, I would really appreciate it if you would complete this exam debrief, fill out the information. If you are a non-test taker, you can ignore that. And everybody must complete these final three uh, Ed Puzzle assignments. So um, this one, 24 minutes. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long this one is. It says eight minutes. This one's a little bit longer, an hour and 45 minutes. It's a great documentary. I wrap up all my uh, history classes with this because it does a great job pulling together uh, major events in the 20th century and will count for three points. Um, also, next week, I will open up a couple more opportunities for some makeup work. So if you have some zeros that are hanging out in your grade book and you want to fix that, you'll have an opportunity to knock those out. Um, I wanted to take a moment to do uh, an analysis. I did get all of the responses from the AP exam uh, that was given last week. There were 37 test takers, and there were four different prompts that were given. I'm not allowed to share those prompts publicly, so what I've done is just to analyze them so you can see the themes and the time periods. So if you uh, kept a copy or you remember you know, what it is you wrote about, or you can look at your response, you'll get an idea of which of these that you may have responded to. So um, overall, 60% of you utilized at least four documents to support your thesis, 32% of you used at least two documents to support your thesis, and 46% of you remembered to indicate outside evidence within the correct time frame. So I'm feeling very positive about um, that I think that we'll return with a lot three fours or fives this year. Um, of the 37 test takers who were in the review section and completed at least two of the practice DBQs, 76% of you used four or more documents, 24% of you used at least two documents, and 55% of you remember to uh, indicate outside evidence within the correct time frame. So congratulations, good show. I'm looking forward to seeing those results come back. And if you had technical difficulty or you missed the exam window and you're going to uh, take it next week, uh, good luck and let me know how it goes. All right, everybody. So if you have any questions about your particular response, um, come hit me up on the office hours between 10 and noon, uh, Monday through Wednesday, and also tomorrow, Friday, and we can have a conversation about it. Thanks so much. Stay safe.